Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and today we're going for the weekly reminder. This is a video that reminds you everything that you have to do or could do last week. And I'll give you a lot of information about everything the Division 2 and the Division universe. So without further ado, let's dive right in and show you what you need to do before tomorrow's reset. So let's start with the current and upcoming events. Tomorrow the second week of the John League will go active and this will give us the opportunity to collect all the rewards. For everyone that's struggling to get your times, this is the build that I always use for the speedrun events like this. Easy to make and a godly combo, especially the 20% movement speed buff of the Lady Death that will help you beat your times with ease. Tomorrow the new global event goes live, so make sure to spend your earned golden bullet stars. This is also a reminder to finish your daily challenges for the event and of course make sure to spend all your stars before the event ends. It would be a bummer if you collected all those stars to lose them at the end. Also a quick reminder for everybody that seemed to miss this event, it's in an unusual spot as we need to activate it all the way at the end of the seasonal tab. After securing your stars and getting ready for week 2 of the league, let's close this topic off talking about the new event that starts tomorrow, the Guardians event. This is another global event that needs to be activated in the seasonal tab. When everything is set, you can now hunt down the NPCs with the Guardian buff. This event has two marks that show up above the hat of the NPCs, red and blue. You will see that there is only one NPC with the red mark, while all the others have the blue mark above their hats. The red marked NPC is the Guardian of the group and needs to get taken out first. As the name already states, it's the Guardian of the group Meaning the others, marked with the blue mark, will not take any damage until the red marked enemy, the Guardian, is taken out. So make sure if you walk up to a group, take out that Guardian first, the NPC that has that red mark above his hat. When you take the Guardian out, everyone marked with the blue buff will get shocked for 2 to 3 seconds, what gives you the opportunity to beam them on the spot. For this event I always like to use my striker build, just like the league build, it hits hard and it's easy to make. But with the new SMG introduced, the Cabaret, it might be a good alternative as well as this new named weapon comes with the perfect new talent that does 40% increased damage to shocked enemies. And because we are taking the Guardian out first, the one with the red mark above his hat, the blue marked enemies will all get shocked, so you will gain an extra 40% damage output against those enemies. Now that we covered all the active and upcoming events, let's talk about the other things you might want to do before tomorrow's reset. These are all pretty well known in the community, but I still want to remind you to look at your projects. As some of them will give you easy exotics, or of course for most of us gives us easy exotic components. These projects are defeating 30 floors in the summit, what you can do on the normal as well, and it will probably take you 30 to 40 minutes. Then donating materials, well, of course is the easiest way to get your exotic or get your exotic component, defeating the weekly legendary and the newest edition defeating your nemesis this week. Defeating your nemesis should be your number one priority as this gives you a ton more loot and for all our lore fiends and completionists out there also a weekly calm so make sure to try and beat your nemesis this week. If you're still struggling in beating the nemesis I have a few tips and tricks for you in this video right here that might help you out so check it out after this video. And then let's get over all the items that we can pick up at this vendor reset before tomorrow's reset. And don't worry, I'm not going over every vendor, I'm just pointing you to the best ones. But if you want to check out all the best buys, you can watch this after this video ends. So what is worth it this week? 
starting with the rock and roll that you can pick up at the countdown vendor for countdown requisition points then hands down the best buy is the dark winner you can pick this up at the dz south so make sure to get your credits ready and pick up this bad boy at dz south then we have some more new gear that was introduced with year 5 and that's the electric brand set and you can pick up two pieces at the first and second new york vendor because we know they aren't in the open world loot pool yet so you might want to pick them up for your expertise system but still i think farming it or wearing it while playing countdown is still the better way to go than buying a bunch of these new brand sets and then to close this weekly reminder off with the known issues board and what already has a fix for next patch and don't worry i won't go over everything but i will highlight a few things that are most welcome starting with the things that are ready and will be patched with the next title update and the ones that catched my eye were players are unable to share gear or skill mods and friends can join a player already in descent and these changes among others will be implemented with the next update the mods will finally be fixed and the xp exploit for the descent as well so overall good changes although not sharing the mods could have been fixed a little quicker but again i am not a dev so who am i to say <laughs> Then for the things that are in the progress of fixing, one really jumps out and that is the Cavaliers gear set and electric brand set are missing from the targeted loot pool. And I really, really hope that this gets fixed soon as this kind of stops us from farming builds and of course holds us back a little from our expertise level game. And then for our last known issues topic, and those are the investigations. A few caught my eye as they are investigating the rebalancing of the riot foam and the bleed hive for PvP. What could be very, very interesting and I will keep you updated in which way they go. And to close this off, they are investigating some problems with the unbreakable talent as the unbreakable talent and his perfect version stop functioning after being triggered once no longer repairing the agent's armor up on breaking so if you have problems with this unbreakable talent know that they are investigating a fix and that's pretty much it for the weekly reminder going over all the things that you can pick up in the vendor reset and of course all the other things that you need to do or can do in this week before tomorrow's reset so hope this helped you out you are a freaking legend if you're still here at the end of the video thank you very much for sticking until the end of course if you like this video or helped you out in any way or form make sure to like this video helps me tremendously within the youtube algorithm and of course helps me understand if you the community likes these type of videos and of course smash that subscribe button if you're new here or you just want to be up to date about the division 2 and the division universe but that's it for me today See you in the next video. Pure Prime out.